Adding the camera and screen to your VRChat ward is a ton of fun and super easy to make. So let's get started. First, I'm going to fly down into my scene. And to start with, we're going to create the camera. We're going to right click on the hierarchy and click camera. Now, first things first, we want to delete the audio listener. And now we have a bunch of settings to play around with. The only thing that I really care about is I'm going to change the field of view just to something a bit wider. This works better for more indoor scenes. And we also want to come into color mask and disable UI and UI menu. This will stop any of the UI name tags and whatnot from popping up in the camera. And other than that, I'm just going to place it in a more convenient place by flying around and going control shift F. Now that I've roughly placed my camera, I'm going to come down into the console. I'm going to right click, create, render texture. Under this texture and under size, we will see what will become the resolution for our camera. We want to keep this number relatively small as these are an additional pixels that your computer will have to render out on top of your VR headset or your main screen if you're on desktop. Personally, I'm going to go double the default. Now we need to attach this render texture to the camera we just created. So we're going to come down to our camera and just drag and drop our new render texture into target texture. Now, as nothing is using this render texture, we won't see anything. So first of all, I want to create a material. I'm going to right click create material. I'm going to call this screen material. And now as most digital screens absorb all the light that comes to them so you can see the screen more clearly, I'm going to use a shader that doesn't get affected by the lighting of our scene. To change the shader, I'm going to hit standard unlit texture. And now I'm going to drag my render texture into the texture slot. We now have a material to display our texture. However, we don't have an object to display it. I'm going to right click 3D object plane to create a plane. I'm then going to rotate it Z by 90 and scale it down by a certain amount. Now when I drag and drop our material onto this plane, we will see the output of our camera. I can see that our plane is at a 90 degree angle to our camera as it is currently rotating round and round and round. So to fix this, I'm going to tweak the rotation till it's correct. Now I want my screen to be flush with my billboard, so I'm just going to move it and tweak it that way. Now I'm opting to have a square screen, however if you wanted to make this say a rectangle, you would want to keep the ratio between your width and your depth the same on your rendered texture. But as I'm keeping it a square, I want these to be the same. Awesome, so now that we've got all the logic set up, it's time to create a camera in the world for our players to grab. Over here I have a camera that I made when I was just starting out with Blender. And I'm going to put it roughly where I want it to be in the world. Let me just fix its rotation and change its place in the hierarchy. Now on this camera, I want to add a box collider. And as I don't want any players to collide with the camera, I'm going to set is trigger to true. I'm then going to edit its bounds so it's in line with the camera. And then I want to add a VRChat pickup script. Now, as I want players to be able to place the camera and it just float in mid -air, I'm going to disable is gravity and turn on is kinematic. And now on the pickup script, I'm just going to add an interaction text of pick up camera and delete the use text as I won't be using it. And we want to add a VRChat object sync component. And this means that when you move the camera, it will move for everyone else as well. Now that we have a camera model that we can pick up and move around, we now want to join the Unity camera with the model. I'm going to grab the camera in the hierarchy. I'm going to drag the camera into our model, making it a child of the model. That way, whenever we move the model, the camera will move as well. I now want to align the Unity camera with our model camera. To start with, I'm going to get rid of any transform and rotation. We can see that it's at a 90 degree angles in my case, so I'm just going to give that some rotation. And then I'm just going to move it to be at the camera point. Now this image is a little bit large, so I'm just going to come into the gizmos and just reduce 3D icon size. Awesome! This is all good, however there is a slight problem. We'll notice that there is this box in front of the camera that doesn't quite come to this point. This is known as the near clipping plane. Anything in between the camera model and that square you see will not show up in the camera. We can reduce this by reducing the near distance. And with that, we now have a camera that we can move around the world. However, when you're using this camera and you cannot see the screen, you won't know what you are shooting. This is fine in some cases, but especially in larger worlds, you really want the camera operator to see what everyone else is seeing. So to add a screen to our camera, we first need to grab our plane, which I really should have named screen. We're going to go control D to duplicate it, and then I'm going to attach it to our camera model. I'm going to reset its position to 000. zero, zero scale it down by like 10, and then move it in the small little screen area. And all that's left is to tweak this to be about right where I want it. We also want to remove the mesh collider that comes with the screen. And all that's left is to test this. And now that we're in the world, we can pick up this camera and we'll see that the screen updates with it. Something I would like to mention about cameras however, is that you should always have a toggle somewhere in your world for them, as they are rather expensive on computing. Anyways, hopefully that was helpful for you. Leave a like on the video if you liked it. Leave a comment down below if you've got any questions. And feel free to check out one of my other tutorials. But until next time, bye!